Warren Buffett is one of the most successful investors of all time. He is world-renowned for his value investing strategy, and a big part of the strategy is based on calculating the intrinsic value of a stock. Essentially, when the market price of a stock is lower than its intrinsic value, it may indicate that the stock is undervalued and presents a good investment opportunity. On the other hand, if the market price is higher than the intrinsic value, it may suggest that the stock is overvalued and not a good investment. In addition, intrinsic value calculations help investors determine whether a stock is worth buying and holding for the long term or whether they should consider selling it. The calculation also provides investors with a benchmark against which they can compare market prices and make informed decisions about buying, holding, or selling a stock. So how do you calculate intrinsic value? Well, there are a few key steps to follow. 1. Determine the future cash flows of the company. This includes projecting earnings, dividends, and other future cash flows that the company is expected to generate. In order to do this, you'll need to gather information about the company's current financials, including its revenue, expenses, and earnings. You'll also want to look at factors such as its industry and market conditions, as well as its competitors and growth potential. All of these factors will impact the company's future cash flows, so it's important to take a comprehensive approach when projecting them. 2. Determine the discount rate. The discount rate is the rate at which future cash flows are discounted to reflect their present value. In other words, it takes into account the time value of money and the risk involved in receiving those cash flows in the future. The discount rate is a crucial component of the intrinsic value calculation and should be carefully considered. A common method for determining the discount rate is to use the cost of equity, which reflects the rate of return that investors expect to receive for investing in the company's stock. 3. Calculate the present value of future cash flows. Once you have determined the future cash flows and discount rates, you can use this formula to calculate the present value of those cash flows. The present value is equal to the future cash flow divided by 1 plus the discount rate raised to the power of the number of years. The present value represents the estimated worth of future cash flows, considering the time value of money and the risk involved. The final step is to sum up. The present value of future cash flows determines the intrinsic value of the stock. This is the estimated worth of the company taking into account is future cash flows and discount rate. If the intrinsic value is higher than the current market price of the stock, it may be considered undervalued and a good investment opportunity. On the other hand, if the intrinsic value is lower than the current market price, it may indicate that the stock is overvalued. To better grasp the concept of intrinsic value calculation and how it relates to investing strategy, let's use a hypothetical company, ABC, as an example. The first step is to determine the future cash flows of the company. Let's say ABC had revenue of $100 million in the past year and is expected to grow its revenue by 5% annually in the next five years. We expect ABC to have an operating margin of 10% and pay out 30% of its earnings as dividends. Based on these projections, we estimate ABC's future cash flows to be $115 million in the first year, $120.75 million in the second year, $126.76 million in the third year, $133.19 million in the fourth year, and $140.06 million in the fifth year. Second, determine the discount rate. ABC is in the technology industry, which is known for its high growth potential. Based on the risk involved in investing in the technology sector, we estimate the cost of equity for ABC to be 12%. Hence, the discount rate for ABC is 12%. Third, calculate the present value of future cash flows. To calculate the present value of the first year's cash flows, we use the formula. The present value equals the $115 million divided by 1 plus the discount rate of 12% or 0.12 raised to the power of 1. And we get $103.48 million. To calculate the present value of the second year's cash flows, you'll use the same formula but increase the exponent by 1 to account for the passage of time. The present value of the second year's cash flows equals the $115 million divided by 1 plus the discount rate of 12% or 0.12 raised to the power of 2 equals $98.43 million. Similarly, we calculate the present value of the third year's cash flows to be $93.72 million, the present value of the fourth year's cash flows to be $89.39 million, and the present value of the fifth year's cash flows to be $85.39 million. And finally, the last step is to sum up the present value of future cash flows. Adding up the present value of all five years' cash flows, we get a total of $469.02 million, which is the intrinsic value of ABC Incorporated. If ABC Incorporated's current market price is less than $469.02 million, we can consider it undervalued and a good investment opportunity. 
On the other hand, if the market price is more than $469.02 million, it may indicate that the stock is overvalued. It's important to note that calculating the intrinsic value of a stock is an estimate, not an exact science. There are a lot of variables that can impact a company's future cash flows, and it's always a good idea to use a variety of sources to get a more accurate picture. So that's a basic overview of how to calculate the intrinsic value of a stock, a key component of Warren Buffett's investment strategy. Give it a try and see if it can help you make better investment decisions. Thanks for watching.